What is good YouTube? We're back again with another video and in today's video we're going to be removing the front knuckles off my 1997 Honda Civic EK Coupe also known as Project Green Tea. We're also going to be trying to put on the front uh, coils and we're joined today by my boy Justin. You already know. Cold. But yeah, it's pretty cold out here so uh, we're about to just jack up the rear of the car, raise the rear and put the rear wheels on at least and we'll make our way to the front. Alright guys, we're just getting the wheels off. So the coils are really dropped, so we're just gonna raise them up so I can get the rear wheels on at least. And um, yeah, then we'll go from there. Test fitting, seeing how everything's fitting up. But I'll get you guys updated. Now we are at. We're just gonna do like a hand estimate. We just gotta get it raised up a little bit. Two and a half fingers. Just getting the coil raised up. And then from there we'll be able to test fit the wheel. We'll probably have to mess with some of the camber adjustment just off of some basic head measurements. But other than that, and then we'll get the wheel fitted up. All right, guys, I'm just gonna grab the wheel real quick so we can test fit it. Look at that beauty. I wonder, are these directional? Because I'm about to put it in the right direction already if I'm doing this. Um, no, they're just uh, asymmetric. So no matter what side you put on, they'll be fine. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yeah, as long as there's not a rotation symbol on it, you're good. You know what's crazy? It still runs better than my car. Ooh, strong man. Let me just show the people. All right, guys, we got some rotor slips. 16 by eight, I believe. I, I will confirm that in somewhere over here on the screen. But 16 by eight, this is a 215, 45, 16. I went with the Falcon Azinis. Shout out to my guy, my tire plug, uh, TFTI. Um, forgot his Instagram right now. I'll plug that right there too. But shout out to my tire plug. I asked him, he got me the wheels shipped. Came in the same week all the way from Maryland. So shout out to him. But yeah, this is the setup we're running on Project Green Tea. And shout out to Coil Works for mounting and balancing these uh, wheels and tires. So uh, let's get these on real quick. I need a bigger garage. Or a smaller car, but then yeah. you won't fit in the car. Jeez. Oh, careful with that gun. I'll hold that. Stay. That coil over is definitely gonna have to come down a lot more. Yeah. Damn. All right, you can cut the clip. All right. All right, guys. So we got the wheel on. This fitment is looking amazing, on point. Hold on, let me just get it down so we can get this drop reveal. All right, come down. All right. Go slow though. It might hit the rear quarter.
Yeah, it's already on the body. Yep. We gotta raise it back up. But this fitment's beautiful, guys. This shit is like so freaking the right about perfect. perfect. The, you want, right? the height I wanna go for. Nah, it's gotta go higher than that. It's still gonna rub. Wait, just right here. Yeah, it's still rubbing. I can't even get a finger. All right, now I'm getting a finger through. I might just have to roll the quarter panel a little bit, but that's not a bad height either. But so far, this is the that's equipment. That's a perfectly functional height. Yeah, function over form, guys. Race car, remember that. But we're just gonna raise up the coil, maybe half an inch more, and we'll see how it's sitting. All right, guys. We're about to see the height. Let's see. Damn, it's still it's tucking. I can't even get a finger in. Still? It's on the it's on the quarter, yeah. No way. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> I'll try bringing it up more. All right, guys. So we're gonna raise it up again. I thought this time was the time, but I guess not. We're gonna check out what's going on, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So we resulted in taking out the coil over, spinning it to about four of my fingers with. with. So let's see if we're finally at a decent ride height. Dude, money. Okay, just about right. Just about right. But we gotta go higher. Because if I cannot get a finger through, and that means if I hit a pothole, hit this will damage my quarter. But pretty much, it looks amazing. Flush fitment, it looks beautiful. Probably go up like half an inch more, and then we'll call it a day for this side. And then we'll make our way to uh, knocking out the front. So I'll get back to you guys. Anyway. All right, guys, so we got the uh, driver's side rear removed. I'm just going to open these up and match them to the other side. Like, that's just easier. All right, guys, we just got the driver's side rear off. I'm just uh, lowering this bottom half because, as you guys were seeing, we are experimenting many times just to get that side dialed in. So now I'm just going to match them up. And I'm going to basically geez, see how much more I got to go. So I got a couple more threads to go. Should be dialed in then. And we'll be good to go on the rear. And then we're just going to get the front knuckles out. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. A little bit more. Really the gift for living on the East Coast. Yeah. Jersey. Jersey problems. Yep. Still a little bit higher. Alright. But yeah, guys, you guys get the point. But uh, yeah. I'll get back to you guys once we're dropping down that side and we'll show you the whole fitment, how it looks. Alright, guys, Patty Fee just showed up. We got the car up and Jack stands in the front. I'm about to get the wheels off, get these knuckles off, get this camber off, and stock uh, suspension off. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to paint these. Try to paint these knuckles right here. And then I'm gonna take out the hubs and get the new parseps, 36 millimeter hubs up on. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so it's been a while since we've done the rear, 
but we're back right now uh shout out to my boy anthony he's been coming in a few days he uh put on the struts for me the camber kit and the lower arms as you can see we got the front right here we better put that on and these are a better look at the skunk two arms and i also just got the moog inner and outer tie rods and some exhaust hangers so we're about to get that all on in a little bit hopefully if we don't think of doing any other shenanigans but uh yeah i'll keep you guys posted all right guys here's the coil put it on real quick Cut the clutch real quick. All right, guys, just put this up. I'm just putting the bolts on, I mean the nuts on. And then from there, I think we're gonna tackle the um, inner and outer tie rods. And the front suspension should officially be complete. I'm waiting on Brian built right now to get my uh, hubs pressed into my spindles. And then other than that, the car should be rolling. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that. Um, I have actually been purchasing many things for the CK. I purchased a thermal R&D exhaust. Um, it is currently being built. So hopefully early April or end of March, it should be ready. I'm also running a budget OEM plus-ish um, big brake kit. I'm about to give you guys a rundown on what that kit consists of and what I particularly bought for that kit. All right, so for the big brake kit, you're going to need a um, 1997 through 2000 Honda CRV brake calipers. I got those. Shout out to my boy, Justin. He got them for me at his job at AutoZone. Um, I ordered up some PowerStop 2007 Mini Cooper base model, 280 millimeter rotors. I also ordered some PowerStop 2005 Acura TSX brake pads. And uh, shout out to my boy, Izzo for getting me some Honda Civic EK spindles and knuckles. I had on this car already, um, it, when I bought the car, it had um, Integra knuckles and spindles, and those were too big for the bearing setup and hub setup that I had. So shout out to my boy Izzo for getting me right with those. And um, yeah, it's just all now a waiting game. We're waiting on my, my guy Brian built to get those pressed in. And other than that, we're aiming for April for this car to be outside. All right, guys. So a lot's gone down and I haven't recorded much because I honestly just haven't been here. I've just been working and my boy Anthony has been killing it for me, helping me out. So let me just show you. Swap is in. Not fully in. I still got to tighten some of the bolts. But uh, right now, Anthony stepped out. I'm here with my boy, Justin. And um, we're just putting the fender bolts on. I got from Resto Tuner, and I'm going to adjust the height in the front. Uh, the car is a completely full roller right now, a brand new suspension. So that's the plan. Just get the fenders on so we can measure the height in the front, and we're going to adjust the coilovers from there. And then from there, we're going to um, put on the brakes. So I'm going to show you guys right now my new brake setup. All right, guys. So for the brake setup, I went with like an OEM. Uh, poor man's big brake kit so to start off with we have a uh, you want to explain the years of the crv caliper so it's a 97 to 01 crv which is the first gen you know crv, CRV caliper this thing is crazy. huge look at this next to my head way bigger than o than stock than oe this thing's huge mm -hmm. all right so that's that it's, a, it's like a weird like combination of parts okay so that's the caliper all right now the brake pads you want to explain the brake pads so these are second generation tsx pads or first generation tsx depending on where you live so these are tsx slash accord euro pads 05 to uh 08 i believe could be wrong i have to look up verify my information I'm pretty sure it's 2007 pads is what I ordered. Gotcha. I'm not, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. As but long as it's that first gen. Yeah. That's just, if you guys want specifics, that's what uh, I ordered. Or 2005 pads or something like that. I'm not too sure. 
As long as, yeah, as long as it's first gen TSX and not second gen, you're fine. And, and this is the best part. Now, <laughs> these rotors. 2007 to 2011 Mini Cooper base model. That part is important. Do not get the Mini Cooper S rotors there. Way too big. Base model Mini Cooper rotors. 280 millimeter to be exact. Yep. And the final part that I am missing, which arrives tomorrow, is a, a set of 1320 um, rotor slash stud, wheel stud, spacers. It's these little rings that you slide onto the stud of the wheel. And um, the rotor, when it sits on the studs, there's these gaps. And normally a set screw will hold them down. But since this is like a custom setup, those screws won't work for this setup. So you need those spacers on the studs and they'll prevent the rotor from shaking. And it's just an extra safety feature. But yeah, guys, this is the brake setup for Project Gransky. All right, guys, so right now we just put the fender on with the bolts. That side's like officially all buttoned up. Um, right now, Justin's just taking off this stud so we can put the downstar drip on so we can get the header on. But once these two studs are extracted, we're just gonna um, take off the two front wheels and get the brake set up in the front and then um, lift up the car a little bit and then we'll uh, put the header on yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on right now. I'm sorry the content's like scattery and stuff, but we're just trucking at this, trying to get the whole car put together and hopefully started by the end of this week. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, we got the wheel off. As you can see, this is the Carceps 36 millimeter hubs with the ARP extended studs. Um, I'm about to put on this rotor right now and as you can see there is a gap here 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 and they'll shake so my 1320 studs what they'll do is slide in and keep these grounded and stuck but they'll only be here tomorrow so for now we're just gonna get everything buttoned up and then tomorrow i'll just get them slided on and we should be good to go awesome is the car too low huh right now <coughs> so reasonable for the header. So why should I drive the header now? Yeah, I'm just asking, is it? I mean, finally yes. work on this car, bro. Yeah. Finally work on this car, every video's are Oh, fuck. Fucking hope. Look at my ass. Alright, bro. You could scrap his OnlyFans. Oh, of course. Fifteen dollars a month. What happened when I break it in the middle? Would it leak? Nice. 100%. What? Look at the cheap ass gasket, right. bro. That's what came up there. Yeah, I'll, I'll never do this again. Well, I'm not dealing with that shit right now. I'm not gonna lie, that's me. God ah, damn, that shit scared the shit out of me. Nah, I'm just gonna make sure that. Because when it doesn't run into that, it's just Chris's red sport stabbing me in the stomach. Try to make sure the car. Why do we have a taller guy do this? Here, I think know. I think we gotta lift the car. Try to make sure the car follow him with all our weight. She'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Fuck, it's just stabbing me directly in the stomach. This head is a this head is gonna be a beautiful word, bro. What else? We gotta lift the car. You gotta go up? Yeah. I got the jack. Good thing it's a jack stand. Hi Buffy, got the clip. Oh. Muffin, you can cut. Oh, shit. Here you go with the gasket. Where's where you go? The flat way is up, right? Yeah. Oh, you don't have no... Matter of fact, lift it up a little bit. Danny, you don't have no sides? They're up. They're in the car. You got them. Oh. Well, you know what you can do? You can screw one stud in. Yeah, it's going to be a bitch. I hate when it's like... I'm going to screw a stud in. And then... Um, what? I'm ready. Clearance. You got clearance, Clarence. This doesn't even fit. I'm gonna have to take that uh, half shaft off. This doesn't fit. What size is the half shaft? 12, right? 13, usually 14, right? Yeah, 14. Muffin, cut the clip. Muffin, cut the Oil in the filter. Break in oil you're already know. Yeah,
I could already give an ice cream truck there. Yeah, I'm gonna run to that place, That means spring is just around the corner. I'm mean, gonna pretty much here. Bro, you got any 10 millimeter nuts, bro? Another week or two. No. I need one, Daddy. Two actions. Yeah, I got one ground or something. Two actions. Yeah. <laughs> Bought that ass shine through the mirrors. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool with this car. I'm bald too. You got a problem with it? Oh, you ain't bald, nigga. Alright. That's because I didn't cut my hair. Filters. Get, get, get the Brooklyn fade. Oh, I got a Alright, guys. So I went home. Picked up the break in oil. Got my funnel right here. Up some oil in the, in the motor and get it nice and ready. We should be good. Gotta put you guys on a time lapse. So right now Muffin's just gonna check the oil. I added five quarts of AMS oil, break-in oil, SAE30. We're Muffin doing the honors. Was it full? We gotta show the people, bro. Was it full, bro? What the heck? Six. All right, so I'm gonna add one more, and we'll see what goes down. Back it up. Let it go left. Let it go left. Just watch the front. Wow, guys, it finally looks like a car almost. We're just missing the front bumper and a grill. And once it's all